This is a click magic tutorial on split testing. An easy way for you to split test anything. If you're an online marketer, you want to split test your Facebook ads. What about YouTube ads? Different campaigns? What about different pages in your funnel? You can all do it with click magic and you want to stay to the very end because I'm going to show you an easy way to do it with click magic. What's up guys? This is Krishana Sykes and I want to welcome you to my channel. Now I love to do videos on how to make money online as well as training to tutorials on different tools that online marketers use. So if you're interested in seeing videos like that, then definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification button because that's how you're going to be notified whenever I upload a video. Now, if you're interested in passive income, the type of income that could potentially give you a full-time income, replace your job if you want. But if you want to make income, while you're sleeping on vacation. There's going to be a link down in the description below. It's my number one recommendation for passive income. So click on that and it'll take you to my website and it'll show you how to get started on creating your passive income. Okay, so I'm gonna go over how to set up split testing in Click Magic here in just a moment, but I know there's gonna be a, a lot of newbie online marketers that may see this video and don't exactly understand why split testing is so important. So I wanna take a little bit of time to talk more about that. Generally, when you are creating a funnel, you're gonna have an opt-in page like you have here. Sometimes you just have a thank you page. Sometimes uh, on that thank you page, there is a link to go to the sales page, okay? And nine times out of 10, you probably don't own that. but maybe you have a funnel that has an opt-in um, it has a sales page it has an order form page and then a thank you page thereafter so there's many different steps but what's really important to always do is to test everything because you never know what change you could make that could improve the performance of your funnel so I'm gonna give you an example here I have this funnel this is just something that I was playing around with okay um, obviously there's a lot going on with this funnel. I have some text, I have a picture, I have a button, you know, the button's pink. What do you think would happen if I were to change the button color from a pink to a white? We don't know, but it's important to test out because it could mean a difference in the number of people that opt into my page simply because I changed the color to white and then maybe, you know, make another change, okay? So you always wanna test out everything. You can make different changes or testing on your opt-in page. You can test out different things on your sales page, but always test, test one thing at a time, make a note and see what performs better. And that's why I love ClickFunnels. I'm actually using ClickFunnels now and I love ClickFunnels because and Russell Brunson, who's the CEO of ClickFunnels, he has the greatest training on how to create funnels as well as how to test them out. And he gives you a lot of tips that you can use to shortcut you know, your, your experience if you're brand new. So I'm gonna put a link down below for ClickFunnels. I highly suggest you get ClickFunnels, not only the training, but I mean, it's just so easy to create funnels. So that's why you wanna split test. I had to take a moment to talk about that because I know there are some people who are not experienced that are gonna see this video. And I wanna make sure that I touched base for you guys because I was once a newbie and I understand. So now let's dive into Click Magic and let's talk about split testing, okay? So first what I'm gonna do is go to one of the links that I have already created and I'm gonna go to my test account and let's click this one right here. Let's check preview this. Okay, so it's exactly the same, you know, capture page that I had. Now let's say that we wanted to split test this, okay? Obviously, I already have this capture page set up. You know, my pixels, everything are added. And guys, if you wanna know how to create a tracking link in ClickFunnels, take a look above. There is a video that will walk you through on how to do that. But in order to split test, what we need to do is we need to click on this little gear right here. And you're gonna go to split testing where it says split testing. So we're gonna click on that. now. Down below, you see the primary URL. This is the link, okay, that I showed you right here. Let's say that I had another 
capture page that I wanted to test out. And for just for training purposes, I'm just going to say that this is it. OK, this is actually not a capture page, but for testing purposes, we're going to roll with it. So what I would do is I would put that link here, then I would name it whatever I wanted to name it. So let's say it was a it had a picture of a waterfall. OK, I would name it waterfall. OK, so I could identify between the two. And then if I wanted to split test, meaning 50 percent of the traffic that I run go to the primary URL, which is here, and then 50 percent go to the other URL that I want to test out, then I would just put 50 here. I would add URL and see how it automatically changes this weight to 50% as well. So both are going to be 50%. Okay. Now what's going to happen is when you run your traffic, 50% of the traffic is going to go here. 50% of the traffic is going to go here. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be just a capture page that you test. It can be a sales page and you can have more than two. If you want to add more, then you would just put the links in here, just like I showed you, but you would want to select equalize weights so that the distribution would be equal throughout every single link that you wanted to test out. Okay. Now, if you wanted to edit the URL, you would go here. Okay. If you wanted to preview the URL, you would go here. And if you would want to delete the URL, then you would go here. Now, I know that it's really important for us to always test out our links, right? But in this case, when we're split testing, it's not going to have the same effect. Let me explain. If I were to click on this link to confirm that it goes to the primary capture page, then I click on this link again to see if it goes to the waterfall page, it's not going to show both. And it's because it's looking at the unique click, which is right here, okay? If I'm using the same IP address, it's going to show me the same capture page that I saw the very first time. It's not going to show me a different one because that will mess up the tracking. And that's what split testing is. So you don't want to test this out because you're going to think it's not working because it's not going to show you the different capture pages or whatever you're testing. It's going to show you the same exact one. Another thing that I wanted to note in split testing is that click magic will automatically give you the winner okay and it shows it up here calculate winner based on either actions engagements or sales so you have to make a decision do you want to calculate the winner based on actions or engagements or sales and this is based on having a pixel on your funnel so if you don't know how to put a pixel on a funnel, again, look at the suggested video at the top. There is a video showing right now that will teach you how to add a pixel to your funnel in click funnels. If you're using anything else, it's pretty much the same. OK, but there is a question mark right here. This is going to help you to understand the difference between actions, engagements and sales. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all three, but you want to make sure that you look at that if you are not familiar with what these three words mean as it relates to Click Magic. You want to select the appropriate one, and that is how Click Magic will calculate your winner. So you can have Click Magic automatically calculate the winner once the winner has been determined by Click Magic. If there are any additional links that have yet to be clicked on through the traffic that you're running, then Click Magic will automatically send the rest of that traffic. Those clicks will go to the winner. Okay. Now, if you don't want Click Magic to uh, calculate the winner for you, all you need to do is select none. When you select none, then it's up to you to determine who the winner is. I hope by watching this tutorial that you now have an understanding of why it's so important for you to split test and also how you can do it with Click Magic. Now the resources that I use, Click Magic as well as Click Funnels, is going to be in the description below. They both have free trials. Go ahead and try them out. Now if you like the video, definitely go ahead and hit that like button and then also share it out as well. And I would absolutely love it if you leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know 
if you have any questions. And of course, before I go, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, now, right now. Hit the bell notification button because that's how you're going to be notified whenever I upload a video. Hey, I'll see you guys next time.